37-year-old Tabitha Abimiku runs this eco-friendly reusable sanitary towel company in Abuja. The eco-rights advocate says she started a venture so as to support young women and girls in poor communities who had little to no access to sanitary hygiene products. We have 800 million um, girls and women who menstruate every day all over the world. And it will shock you to know that in um, Africa, 60% cannot even afford sanitary towel. Virtual pads we've been able to design, we created and deployed one of Africa's pioneer reusable sanitary pad called Virtual Pads. Virtual Pads is very affordable. It costs even 20% less than the single-use disposable sanitary pad. And it's also helping to keep girls in school and also eco-friendly. So it's biodegradable. It doesn't contribute to landfill and also, you know, environmental pollution. UNICEF estimates that one in ten girls in Africa miss three to five days of school a year as a result of their periods. Others are even forced to stop schooling altogether. In Nigeria, a small pack of sanitary towels costs about $1.50 and millions can hardly afford that. At this outreach event marking International Women's Day, organizers are teaching schoolgirls in the outskirts of Abuja about the importance of menstrual hygiene and sanitation. They hope that information can help keep them in school. For women and girls advocate, an outreach like this can give young girls in rural communities an equal opportunity with their male counterparts. And for the young girls who are beneficiaries, having access to these reusable parts is a welcome development. Sometimes I don't have money to buy pads, so I use tissue or rag. But now we've been taught about hygiene and we've been given sanitary towels that can last us for a year. I'm really happy. Most sanitary products in Nigeria are imported and are heavily taxed. Advocates say more organizations and the government should go for sustainable and homemade menstrual hygiene products. If issues like taxes are being removed and maybe government schools, which we know that they are quite disadvantaged if the government can partner with organizations like Virtual Pads to distribute free uh, reusable pads to young girls in these schools. It will go a long way because our pads can actually be used for more than a year, but it has a lifespan of uh, five years. They hope that this will not just help keep girls in school, but help save the environment too.